Hey, I'm Lloyd, not George. I'm a podcast host, but today I actually want to talk to you about a different kind of podcast hosting. If you're as curious as me, you've probably asked yourself, what the heck is a podcast host? What does it do? And why do I need one? Well, you're in luck because today I'm gonna to tell you everything you need to know about podcast hosting. I believe this is something that could help you become a better podcaster and establish an appreciation for where podcasting started. So let's start all the way at the beginning. What exactly is podcast hosting and why do you need it? Now let's break this down in simple terms. Imagine you're planning to throw a party, but you need a venue to host this party at. Similarly, when you create a podcast, you need a space to store your audio files, manage episodes, and share them with the world. That's where podcast hosting comes into play. To put it another way, podcast hosting serves as the backbone that supports your podcast content, much like a reliable postal service that delivers your letters to friends and family across the globe. Now, let's dive in a bit deeper. Beyond just hosting your audio files, there's another crucial element that ties everything together, the podcast RSS feed. Your podcast RSS feed is like the digital blueprint for your podcast. It contains vital information such as your podcast episode title, episode details, the actual audio file locations, and so much more. Think of it like your podcast online identity card. Without it, your podcast wouldn't be visible to platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Pocket Casts, and all the places you listen to your podcast. In essence, while your podcast hosting provides the space and infrastructure for your podcast, the RSS feed acts as the gateway that allows your content to be discovered and consumed by listeners across various platforms. If you let me, I have one more analogy. Well, I guess kinda, I'm kinda continuing my postal service analogy. If your podcast host is the envelope that your podcast is stored in, then your podcast RSS is the mailman going to each platform and asking if they can also share your podcast episode. So to sum it up, podcast hosting and RSS feeds go hand in hand. They're the dynamic duo that powers your podcast journey and ensures that your voice is heard in the vast ocean of digital content. Now let's address the burning question. Why can't you just upload your podcast directly to platforms like Apple Podcasts and Spotify? Well, Imagine you're planning a grand dinner party. I know, another analogy, but just stick with me. You've got the perfect menu planned, the decorations stunning, and the ambiance is just right. But wait, you realize you forgot something crucial, the venue. In the world of podcasting, platforms like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Pocket Cast, they're like the esteemed guests eagerly awaiting your content. But here's the catch. They don't have a storage facility to hold your audio files. They're just fancy dinner guests, not hosts of the party. So just like you need a venue to host your dinner party, you need a podcast hosting company to provide the storage space and infrastructure that holds all of your podcast episodes. These hosting companies are like the banquet halls of the podcasting world. They provide the necessary space and resources to store your audio files securely. Now, when you upload your podcast episodes to a hosting company, they take care of the heavy lifting, storing your audio files, managing your content, and ensuring that everything runs smoothly. Once your episodes are safely stored, the hosting company generates your podcast RSS feed, the digital roadmap that guides platforms like Apple Podcasts and Spotify to your content. So when listeners tune into their favorite podcasting apps, it's not Apple Podcasts and Spotify that are directly serving you your episodes. Instead, they're accessing your content through the RSS feed, which leads them straight to your hosted files. You know, that my friends is why you can't simply upload your podcast directly to platforms like Apple or Spotify. They rely on the hosting companies to handle the behind the scenes magic, ensuring that your podcast episode reaches your audience seamlessly. In regards to hosting companies, you might be wondering which one to choose. For hobby podcasters, there are several platforms that offer free podcast hosting solutions, but they do come with limitations as well as ads. If you're serious about podcasting and crave a more professional grade features, Transistor just might be the perfect fit for you. First and foremost, Transistor makes it super easy to distribute your podcasts everywhere. With just a few clicks, you can submit your podcast to Spotify, Apple, or whatever your favorite player is. And the best part, after submission, 
Your new episodes will automatically appear on all of these platforms, including podcast search engines, ensuring maximum visibility for your content. And let's not forget about analytics. Transistor offers one of the most comprehensive podcast analytics tools in the industry. From monthly listeners to average downloads per episode, you'll gain visibility insights into your audience behavior and preferences. Now, if you're wondering why I'm harping on analytics, it's because I believe that it's the easiest way to improve your podcast. There's more. Transistor also offers dynamic ad insertion, allowing you to monetize your podcast effortlessly. With their dynamic ad insertion tool, you can insert audio ads or announcements at strategic points within your episodes. This should maximize your revenue potential. By the way, it doesn't just have to be for ads. You can also use podcast swaps if you're prioritizing growth in your podcast this year. This is the perfect way to utilize podcast partnerships to grow your show. Transistor's podcast website builder simplifies the process of creating a professional looking website for your podcast. From the homepage to subscriber page, every element is designed to enhance your podcasting experience and attract new listeners. You know, we love new listeners. And let's not forget about collaboration. With Transistor, you can actually invite multiple team members to work on your podcast each with their own set of permissions and responsibilities. So basically everyone will have their own login. Finally, Transistor integrates seamlessly with a variety of tools and platforms to streamline your podcasting workflow. From email subscriptions to social media auto posting, they've got you covered every single step of the way. Transistor provides a comprehensive podcast hosting solution tailored for creatives, brands, and professionals like you. With user-friendly software, you can effortlessly upload your audio, craft great show notes, and publish new episodes with the click of a button. Plus, you'll get access to insightful analytics to track your podcast performance and audience demographics. But don't just take my word for it. See it straight from the podcasters who have experienced the magic of Transistor firsthand. Creators like Ali Abdal's Deep Dive podcast and Alexis Ohanian's Business Dad podcast both rely on Transistor for their hosting needs. So whether you're an aspiring podcaster ready to embark on your journey as a seasoned pro looking to elevate your podcast game, Transistor has got your back. Take the plunge and join thousands of podcasters who trust them with their audio adventures. Also, if you have any questions about podcast hosting, drop a comment below. Until next time, peace.